What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Code Norman. I'm back with another video. So a few days ago, I was learning about color theory for design in my game, and I learned some pretty interesting things, so I want to talk about that today. So for people who don't know, color theory is basically color science. There are more ways to describe it, but that's the simplest way I could explain it. I learned concepts like complementary colors, hue, saturation, things like that. And then I came across a video from this guy called Flow Studio, and he talked about color theory. And he explained everything I wanted to know pretty well. So I learned some important things about color. If I had to say which was the most important though, I think it'd have to be between color meaning and contrast, I believe. I learned that contrast can make things stand out. So for example, if you have a scene of yellow and then you place something purple or like blue in there, the purple and blue will really stand out. But of course, everybody knows that nothing stands out more like a white circle on a black circle. So for my game, I'll make sure to keep this in mind, especially with some of the characters and their colors and designs. I want the characters to stand out so that the player knows what they're supposed to be focusing on screen. I also learned about saturation. When something is desaturated, then it's just gray. I used to think saturation referred to the amount of colors that were on screen, but I was clearly off with that. Also, hue is not some fancy term, it's just the color. When somebody says that an apple is red, they're referring to the hue of the apple. Also, RGB stands for red, green, and blue. HSV stands for hue, saturation, and value. I also learned about the meaning of colors and different emotions and feelings that a color can emit. I honestly thought I would take a while to learn about color theory and how it worked, but it took me like a couple of minutes. Then I knew everything I needed to know. Now, real quick, a couple updates on the game. There is a stamina bar now that you can burn through rather quickly if you just walk forward. You also lose health if you attack, so I'm going to fix that. And I tweak the speed of some of the animations to make it smoother. So yeah, that's all for today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'm out of here.